And tonight, a look back on a day of tragedy. You're looking live tonight at Des Moines East High School. Community members there gathered at a spot of a deadly shooting that happened exactly one year ago today. 15 year old Jose Lopez was killed in that shooting. East High students and innocent bystanders Jessica Lopez and Kemri Ortega were shot and fighting for their lives. Lopez and Ortega recovered from their injuries. Police arrested 10 other teens in connection with that deadly drive by. Our Marcus McIntosh live at East High School tonight. Marcus, you spoke with a man who stepped in that day. Yes, I sure did, James. But first, I'm going to show you what's going on outside of East High School. You see a number of food trucks out here, a number of students and parents there as well. They're all heading in and out of East High School because right now a community event is going on. It's not part of, but before things started, it was something where administrators addressed the loss of life, the shooting that left Kemri Ortega and Jessica Lopez fighting for their lives and Jose Lopez deceased. So this has not been an easy day for some still trying to come to terms with the senseless tragedy and how things are forever changed. Richard Newkirk last year served as an interim VP at East. He tells KCCI the moment he got word shots were fired, he broke protocol and rushed outside rather than see if he could help. That is where he found Jose Lopez, telling us he comforted the teen as he took his last breaths, something he will never forget, something he relives when he passes the scene. He says it is a shame students are not safe in school. He offers a suggestion he believes will make the students feel safe. We should be having SRO officers in our buildings to protect kids. We've had three deaths in the... Now, Newkirk stopped short of saying that he believes an SRO would have stopped the deadly shooting last year, but he said it is a measure to keep the students safer. This community, Eastside community event, goes on until 7 tonight. There you see there's food trucks outside, discussions and everything going on inside as part of what's going on here tonight. I'm Marcus McIntosh, live at East High School, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. And of the 10 teens charged in that deadly shooting, these seven have taken plea deals in that case. Three have been sentenced already. Romeo Perdomo received the harshest sentence of all life in prison. Braulio Hernandez Salas and Kevin Isidro Martinez both given 20 year sentences. The two youngest teens charged in the case go to trial next month. And one final suspect, Octavia Lopez, a bench trial for him is scheduled for August. Des Moines East High School students and staff are calling this week Scarlet Strong Week. Right now until 7 o'clock, the school is hosting an East Side Community Night. There is a community art project, a community resource fair, and an orchestra concert. And this is new video from this afternoon. There are 36 community partners helping support students and families there. The interim superintendent spoke as well. The voice that matters the most are the student voices. They are the ones experiencing education every day, and they're experiencing the violence in our community and in our country every day. And so um, having them at the table and leading these conversations is paramount to us moving forward. Tomorrow, eighth grade students from Hyatt and Hoyt Middle Schools in Des Moines will join the East High School Choir for a concert. Thursday, students and staff will have a day of service to benefit a food pantry, and they will help beautify the East High campus. Friday, a student staff basketball game is scheduled.